ओम शांति दिस इज द साकार मुरली ऑफ सिक्स ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन दिस कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द फादर द ओशियन ऑफ नॉलेज एंड द ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर इज लाइक अ डायमंड यू चिल्ड्रन कम हेयर टू चेंज फ्रॉम सेल्स इन टू डायमंड्स question when and how is the golden age of kingdom established answer when the whole of the impure world has been cleansed that is when the old world has been destroyed the golden age of kingdom will be established you have to become ready before then you have to become pure the era of the new kingdom will begin when not a single impure person remains that era will not begin here although radhe and krishna will have taken birth it won't be called the golden age at the time at at that time it is when they sit on the throne of the kingdom in the form of lakshmi and narayan that that era will begin until then souls will continue to come and go all of these things have to be churned song this is the spring to forget the world om shanti Where have you children come to? To the source of the ocean of knowledge. In fact, you reside on the banks of Ganges of knowledge, and you have now come to the source of the ocean of knowledge. Who have come? The Ganges of knowledge. In order to become that, to change from cells into diamonds. that is from being poverty stricken to become the crown on the head brahma is the brahmaputra and shiva is the ocean of knowledge this is the brahmaputra river he is a child brahma is the son of shiva you have grandsons and granddaughters in calcutta a very big meeting takes place between the ocean and rivers the ganges the brahmaputra and the ocean meet there other rivers also merge into the brahmaputra river the main meeting is that of the brahmaputra and the ocean that is called diamond harbor the british gave it that name they don't understand the meaning of it at all they just gave it that name the father explains its meaning to you at this time you have personally come to the brahmaputra and the ocean of knowledge you personally go to the ocean there too in order to become diamonds however instead of becoming diamonds you become stone because that is the path of devotion this is the confluence of souls with the supreme soul both are together that is non living brackets a memorial where is this is the living form this one can go anywhere therefore you children should always understand that both the brahmaputra and the ocean are combined in the living form this is the confluence to become a child to become a diamond 
you have to become like diamonds this one is the brahmaputra and you are the adopted ganges of knowledge these rivers are countless everyone knows that there are many rivers in bharat these are countless you cannot reach the end of these rivers of knowledge it is only at this time that the rivers emerge from the ocean first the brahmaputra emerges and then other smaller rivers emerge from that you know this namo wise according to the efforts you make some are big and others are small that one makes all human beings become like diamonds it wouldn't be said that only those of the sun dynasty become emperors and empresses no as are the king and queen so the people the lives of all of you become like diamonds those who make even a little effort for heaven become like diamonds this brahmaputra river and the ocean both live together when you children come here you understand internally that you have come to bap dada the father is the ocean of knowledge and he enters this brahmaputra that is brahma he makes you become like diamonds through this one now it depends on how much effort each of you makes and how much you follow shrimad you also know that you have to make effort while you are still alive you continue to receive these teachings the results of the examination will emerge at the time of destruction on the one hand the results will be announced and on the other hand destruction will begin then there will be cries of distress don't even ask This is why you have to become ready before destruction and the war takes place. You should understand how much time now remains. You also know that when your kingdom is established, everything will have been cleansed. You continue to become pure. Those people are impure. all impure ones will be destroyed they will settle their karmic accounts and return home when not a single impure person remains this world will be called a pure world at this time you are pure but the whole world is not pure it will definitely become pure after destruction takes place the whole world will be pure that will be called a new world when someone asks you about the era of the new world explain that the new era will begin when the emperor and empress sit on the throne until the new era begins the old era will definitely still remain the era will not begin from here although we brahmins are new the world that is everything on earth is not new it is now the confluence the golden age has to come after the iron age we say that the first princes and prince are radhe and krishna even then we won't call that the golden age at that time until lakshmi and narayan sit on the throne 
there will continue to be one conflict or another even though radhe and krishna are there look these are all things to churn when the golden age begins the era will begin the era of so and so of the sun dynasty an era never exists by the name of the prince or princess there will continue to be coming and going during the time in between dirty impure people also have to go back there will be a few people that still remain here it takes time for all those who are still left here to go back home who is explaining this the ocean of knowledge is explaining and the brahmaputra river of knowledge is explaining both are explaining together that confluence of the kumbha takes place every year this confluence of the kumbha of the ocean and the rivers of knowledge only takes place at the confluence age you children say that you are going to the mother and father the ocean of knowledge to the big river baba is giving us our inheritance through this big river and the other rivers that is he is making us become like diamonds people go to the kumbh mela with so much happiness and purity and they remain pure in their thoughts words and deeds while they are there those are physical pilgrimages pilgrims wish to benefit themselves the guides don't experience as much benefit as the pilgrims do the guides simply go to accumulate money they don't have as many as many devotional feelings as the pilgrims do the pilgrims go with every pure feeling go with very pure feelings and some of them even have visions there is a lingam of eyes that exists at amarnath when you go in front of it all you see is the eyes those who have devotional feelings become very happy when they see it thinking that it is the wonder of nature people have the faith that the lingam is automatically created out of ice however that is nothing the two the true pilgrimage is the one that you are on the, that you are on now people think that they have stumbled around a great deal in order to find god but they didn't find god anywhere baba has explained to you that you cannot take a picture of god how could you take a photograph of a point in order to explain you say that he is a star a star sparkles in the center of the forehead some daughters apply a tilak to the center of their foreheads they have heard that the residence of a soul is in the forehead and so they apply a star there that is the true tilak the tilak of sovereignty is is a bigger tilak they receive the physical tilak of sovereignty you children know that you are souls that you souls are now receiving the tilak of sovereignty 
you souls understand that you are now receiving the tilak of sovereignty from the supreme father the supreme soul they apply a very beautiful star to the center of the forehead they even apply a tilak of gold you have now received all the knowledge we stars are now becoming like diamonds we souls are stars the supreme father the supreme soul is also just the same a tiny star however he has all the knowledge these are very deep matters you have now received knowledge that is you have received enlightenment you have seen and understood the form of the supreme father the supreme soul just as you have visions of a soul so you have visions of the supreme soul he would say i am just the same as you are why would children want to have visions of the father that soul is not bigger or smaller as are you so is the father just the praise and parts are different his part is unique completely different from anyone else's no two souls have the same part two actors cannot have the same part this is called the wonder of god in fact it should wo- it should be called the wonder of the drama because baba doesn't say that he created the drama otherwise the question would arise when was it created that is called the wonder of nature you now know how this cycle turns souls are stars and have such big parts the supreme father the supreme soul is the almighty authority the world almighty authority he is called the ocean of knowledge here no one can be called the ocean of knowledge those who study the vedas and the scriptures only give knowledge of the scriptures no one else has the knowledge that the father has only god comes and teaches the knowledge of easy raj yoga He alone is called the ocean of knowledge. So this is the confluence of the rivers. You also understand that rivers emerge from an ocean. Some children don't even know this. In the same way, no one understands the things you say. how would the ocean of knowledge come how would the ganges of knowledge receive knowledge from him these are matters of knowledge people have so many other things in their intellects that they have heard from others and so they are not aware of true things you now know about the ocean and the ocean of knowledge physical oceans and rivers continue to cause sorrow when an ocean floods it causes so much damage now everyone remembers the ocean of knowledge the purifier no one remembers that ocean or those rivers they remember the purifier
the ocean of knowledge. You rivers have emerged from this ocean. No one knows his name, form, place or time. Although they say the name Siva, they have only given his name to the Lingam. Baba's name is imperishable. Say Baba is the one creator and his creation is only one and is eternal. The father sits here and explains how it is eternal. These festivals etc. do not exist in the golden age. All of them disappears. They then begin on the path of devotion. People understand that heaven existed and will come again. And although it is hell at this time, no one knows its duration. There is extreme darkness. No one even knows the duration of the cycle. They say that this drama continues to turn, but because of not knowing its duration, they don't understand anything. The father sits here and tells you the essence of all the Vedas and scriptures through the mouth of Brahma. This is why they have sown the scriptures in the hands of Brahma. He cannot hold all the scriptures in his hand. No one else relates all the scriptures through Brahma either. You know that all of them belong to the path of devotion. You have continued to study them. No one knows when they begin studying them. They simply say that they are eternal, that Vyas wrote the Vedas. They consider the Vedas to be more elevated. However, it is also written that the Vedas and scriptures are the creation of the Gita. You children know that the same Vedas and scriptures will be created again. They will then be given the name, given the same names. You now know that you are once again becoming worthy of worship. You will then become worshippers and you will build temples etc. When the kings and queens build temples, the subjects also do the same. When the path of devotion begins, everyone begins to build temples. They even build them in their homes. Temples to Radhe and Krishna cannot be built in the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. The temples are built on the path of devotion. As people continue to fall, they continue to build temples. The property of the sun and moon dynasties is, is enjoyed by the merchant and Sudra dynasties. Where else would the kingdom come from? The same property continues to exist. The large properties gradually become smaller until eventually none of them remains. They continue to distribute, distribute them amongst themselves. 
therefore you children understand how you now become worthy of worship for how long you remain that and then how you become worshipers you have now understood what the name form place time and part of the supreme father the supreme soul are have you not on the path of devotion to the father fulfills the pure desires of devotees it is ravan who fulfills impure desires the ocean of knowledge has made all of this knowledge sit in your intellects not everyone will understand those who belonged here in the previous cycle are the ones who will continue to emerge acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 continue to make effort for as long as you live put the father's teachings into practice become a master ocean of knowledge the same as the father second become a spiritual guide and enable everyone to go on on the pilgrim on the true pilgrimage become like a diamond and also make others the same blessing may you make your words and actions elevated with your elevated and pure attitude and become a world transformer the children who finish their weak attitudes and make a bow to have a pure and elevated attitude see this world as elevated your attitude has a connection with your vision and your action anything good or bad is first of all imbibed by your attitude and it is then put into words and actions to have an elevated attitude means that your words and actions will naturally be elevated the vibrations and atmosphere are created by your attitude those who make a vow to have an elevated attitude automatically become world transformers slogan practice being bodiless and beyond the awareness of bodies and you will be able to know the feelings in anyone's mind slogan practice being bodiless and beyond the awareness of bodies and you will be able to know the feelings in anyone's mind om shanti